for molecular cell in particular, I've always wanted to know how. We want mechanism, and that means knowing what drives the observation and how things work together, and being able to break things apart in order to understand whether it's relevant or not. Um, so for example, if you know that two proteins interact, I want to know how they interact and whether or not you can actually break that interaction so that I know whether that interaction is meaningful. Well, as the editor of a reviews journal, what I'm looking for in a paper is one that has something new to say. Uh, we're looking for something that brings an interesting perspective, something that a reader wouldn't get just by reading all the papers that you cite. So maybe this is, say, a set of best practices or a proposed new mechanism, or maybe it's just your vision for how the field evolves from there. The abstract should be like well written, basically in very concise and succinct statement of the results and why it's unique. I would rather not have an author copy and paste the abstract in their cover letter. Instead, I would prefer a, having a cover letter where the author is describing what they found, why it's important, what is known, just very briefly, what is known and why this work is unique. Clearly at Cell Reports, what we're looking for, at least the first thing we're looking for, does this paper have a new insight that other people are going to want to read? Merely saying in a paper that, um, uh, you know, this is new because it's never been done before is not the same thing as providing a new biological insight. That's our basic standard. That's the first thing we look for. It doesn't have to be of interest to the entire world, but ideally it isn't, doesn't give off that smell of a paper that will be really, really interesting to 14 people.